We can learn a lot about how things work just by looking at them. And the same goes for proteins. In fact, there's a whole field of biology called structural biology that investigates the link between form and function of biological molecules like proteins and nucleic acids, so like DNA and RNA and complexes of them. It's a lot easier to look at a fork and a knife and a spoon though than it is to look at these tiny little molecules because they're teeny 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 tiny. There's like tons and tons of them in each of your cells. We have to turn to complicated techniques like extra crystallography, cryoelectron microscopy, cryo-EM, in order to get like a look at them. And these are really powerful techniques and they're not going anywhere, um, but they can only show you things that already exist. And they take a lot, a lot of work to try to get the structures. But what if you want to find the structure of something that doesn't exist? What if you want to invent a new type of silverware? What if you want to invent the spork? Sorry, someone already did that. But if you actually, if there's an idea for a molecule, like you want a molecule to do a certain thing, well, we know that there's this link between form and function. So theoretically, we could design a molecule that could do that thing. We could design a molecule that could bind a certain other molecule. Um, we could design drugs that bind to specific proteins. But in order to do this, we need to kind of like be able to model these things that don't actually exist yet. And then this can be the idea for making these things. It takes a lot of modeling. Computer modeling, which takes a lot of developing the technology to do all of this modeling and relying on all of this data that's been gathered by all these structural biologists, and basically, it's a lot of work. And one of the people leading at the forefront of this is Dr. David Baker at the University of Washington's Institute for Protein Design. The Baker Lab has really been at the forefront um, with Rosetta and Robetta and all of these various tools to kind of predict protein structures and also to design new protein structures. And they want to bring it to the world. Baker Lab's really interested in not just developing this software, but also sharing it widely, um, both with other scientists as well as with the public and actually getting the public to help them um, with their experiments. So they designed, um, in collaboration with other um, institutions, they designed this software, this protein folding game called Fold It. And anybody can do it, like anybody. It's just like, people with no science background at all, but in, it, in, um, it includes all of these scientific principles and the knowledge that people ha give that provide through this game is actually feeding back to the science and helping the scientific um, software improve. So it's like a totally collaborative thing and anybody can get involved. So Dr. Brian Kepnick of the Baker Lab is going to tell us about how Folded works and how we can get involved. So there's going to be this free webinar by the IUBMB Training Initiative, and it's going to be held March 30th, 9.30 uh, Pacific time, and the registration details are provided, and we really hope that we will see you there. There's going to be great talks and discussions. So the first part of the webinar is going to be a talk by Professor David Baker, who's the director of the Institute for Protein Design at the University of Washington. His lab has done so many amazing things, and I'm really excited for his talk. He's going to tell us about how they're designing designer proteins, so proteins that can do specific things, as well as designing molecules that can actually have therapeutic benefits and for things like the coronavirus and also how their lab is really instituting, um, incorporating some of deep learning based structure modeling and design into their workflow. So some really interesting things to talk about for sure. Um, the second part of the webinar, so starting at 1015. So um, Dr. after Dr. Baker's talk, we're going to have um, a Q&A with him and then we'll have the second part of our webinar starting at 1015 Pacific time um, by Dr. Brian Kepnick, who is a research scientist in the Baker Laboratory. And he um, works on Folded, so this protein folding software. And as I mentioned before, he's going to tell us all about it and how we can get involved. Speaking of getting involved, we hope that you will register for this event. You need to register in order to come, but it's totally free. And we really, really hope that we will see you there. So speaking of we, this event is put on by the IBB Training Initiative. It's our first event. We're super duper excited about it. Um, so this specific event is spearheaded by the FEBS group. So in our training initiative, we are a group of scientists and postdocs, so we're like trainee scientists who want to help other trainee scientists 
in biochemistry and molecular biology fields. And so we're uniting people with resources, um, cool events like this, and really trying to build a global community of trainees to help us all feel connected and have access to resources and support um, throughout our training process and so that we can become good mentors for the trainees that are coming next. So we hope that you will join us and um, you can follow the IUBMB trainee on social media, um, follow along on our website and sign up to be a friend of the IUBMB so you'll be on our mailing list and get updates when um, new things like this are happening. And so I am incredibly grateful to be a part of the leadership committee for the IUBMB trainee initiative and um, the people I'm working with are amazing, and I'm really, really excited about this first event we're putting on, and we're um, coming out with a splash. And so we hope that we see you there. Um, so the talk is not just for trainees; anybody can come, um, and we hope to see you there.